everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you for being here. I hope that you are glad to be taking some time out of a nice, beautiful afternoon. If you live anywhere, as the people I've been talking to today do, it seems to be beautiful weather all across the country. Anyway, I am going to share my eight top vanilla scents that I literally can't live without. And I will tell you, I have been researching vanilla scents over the last few months. And I actually thought I didn't like vanilla. You may have caught one of my earlier lives where I said I was actually surprised that every fragrance that I really love has vanilla in it. And I've started noticing other patterns in the fragrances, which I love. So I thought I would take some time and just show you, bring you my top eight can't live without vanillas that are inexpensive. And I will even go so far as to say some of these right here are actually cheap. I mean, cheap. Let me turn that that way so you can see it. I know this is a very hard to find one. So anyway, wanted to bring that to you today. Thank you for being here. Please, if you do like these kind of YouTubes, would you please consider subscribing? I, I guess it's down in, well, it's down in this corner. So it must be this corner when you see it, because I know on my other videos, I pointed down to the corner it should be in, and it's actually in the opposite corner. So um, it's in the bottom right corner anyway, if you are looking at your screen. And please do consider subscribing. If you're having a great day, you're glad to be here, please hit the thumbs up. Please comment. And I do want to know, what are your favorite vanillas? Do you even like vanilla? What I found, and I've been doing a lot of research lately, you guys know me as the unredacted truth research person. And what I have found in my journalistic research is I have not found anyone who doesn't like the smell of real vanilla. Now that said, I'll qualify myself here too, that I can't stand the smell of fake vanilla. And that's what I always associated with cheap perfume has fake vanilla and I don't like fake vanilla. But to find out that we can get real essence of vanilla, real vanilla, pure vanilla, mixed with other beautiful scents, all natural, cheap or inexpensive at best, guys, you're in the right place. It's that, if that's what you want to hear, I tell you, I have some very expensive perfumes that I wear, and I will tell you, there isn't one of these that I wouldn't wear with anyone. I mean, there's nothing. I would actually wear any one of these on a red carpet. And you guys know I've had a lot of red carpets in my life. And I would wear any one of these, I think, because vanilla is so mass appealing. And men love it, you women. And actually, women love it too, you men, because I do understand that a lot of men love to wear very simple vanilla flavors or um, fragrances anyway with flavor. And it occurred to me, and I'll get into this as I describe each of them, it occurred to me that a lot of the ones I love, they have like vanilla and brown sugar and then a type, kind of a ambery sandalwood base. And the, the thing that's amazing is vanilla and brown sugar, didn't we all grow up baking chocolate chip cookies? Or even if some of us who didn't bake, maybe our sister or brother or mother baked chocolate chip cookies. And I can just, as I smell a lot of these, it brings back that thought of baking, pouring the vanilla on top of the brown sugar because the Toll House recipe doesn't have any water or anything in it. It just has the only liquid besides the eggs is pure vanilla extract, which I love the scent of. So anyway, let me jump in. I know I tend to talk a lot. So great to have you guys. Thank you for being here. And um, let me just get moving here. So I'm going to start with this one because um, let me tell you first, I actually had them ordered in my favorite. And then I was really struggling with, wait a minute, I actually kind of like this one better than this one. No, wait. If I could only have one, which would it be? And literally, I could not decide. I love them all. 
and I weeded out a ton. You guys have seen me do a lot of perfume YouTubes by now, and I've weeded out a lot of vanilla scents. And of course, I didn't add any that are niche, which are, you know, maybe $320 for a small bottle of perfume. I didn't add those because I thought everyone should be able to wear vanilla and it shouldn't cost you an arm and a leg or a, another job, right? So I'm going to start with this one because um, it's very, very hard to find. Let me show you that. So this is the Eau de Missions and I'm not French, so I'm sure I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, but I want you to see I've put a good dent in this. And what I've had to do is put it into an atomizer. So the only thing I don't like about this, this is an absolutely incredible, I would call this the most pure vanilla of any I'm going to show you today. This is the one that has the most, let me turn that a little, who wants to look at our elliptical? Probably not you, right? Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You know I'm new at this. Anyway, I doubt you want to look at that ugly manip elliptical in the background, but this is my office and my workout room. So um, anyway, this is the most pure, smells almost like vanilla extract. There's a little bit of something else in there. And I will tell you, I put it in here so that I can spray it. And I can combine these because they're all vanilla, but see that nice. I, I actually got this amazing crystal atomizer years ago, and it's been sitting there empty. But that this vanilla is like a slightly sweet, without the alcohol, pure vanilla extract. And I actually want to zoom in on this. Of course, you guys know I have problems with my um, flashlight. This is Eau de Missions Botanical Cologne of the Missions Le Covent Le Miomis. Something like that. Anyway, you can see it. See it nice and close. Sorry for the reflection. Absolutely amazing. I do have two extra bottles of this when I found it. I bought it out. There were only three left, and um, I had heard it was so good. And I know I Ella, so I bought all three of them. And I will be happy to sell those if if you guys are interested. Anyway, unbelievable. So that's the most pure vanilla. If you just want to smell like a baked good, a little bit sweet, it doesn't have the alcohol taste scent of pure vanilla extract. It's just the beautiful vanilla and a little bit of sweet. So that is absolutely amazing. Okay, next, what shall I show you next? Next, I'll show you this one because it's a body spray. Choo-choo. I don't know why everything reflects, so it's really hard to show you. Anyway, this is um, Pacifica Island Vanilla. It's a hair and body spray, and I'll tell you, there's no alcohol in it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Every one of these smells so incredibly amazing. So this is the Island, the Pacifica Island Vanilla Hair Mist and Body Spray. So I'm going to actually do the notes. The top notes are vanilla and honey. The middle notes are tea and fruity notes. And the base note is jasmine. And I'll tell you, oh, I can still smell it. And the nice thing is there's no alcohol. They made it specifically as a body mist. And the reason I got the body mist, it also comes in perfume. I heard it smells exactly like it. But um, I wanted to be able to sp spray it in my hair because I do have all these other perfumes that I'd rather not spray in my hair. There's one other I can spray in my hair. I'll talk about that in a minute. But anyway, this, this Pacifica Island Vanilla, it is just super, super creamy and delicious. And it literally smells like Big Olaf when they're 
baking their ice cream cones. So I don't know if you guys have that in your part of the world. We have one here in Encinitas, little beach town right next to Carlsbad. And um, but there's one on Catalina Island. Those of you who have ever been to Catalina, it's paradise, right? You feel like you're in Italy. Anyway, it's called Big Olaf, and they actually make their huge um, waffle cones right there in the shops. So the entire island smells like this delicious waffle cone being made. It's exactly what this smells like. That's Pacifica Island Vanilla. Smells amazing. If you don't have it, get it. This is one of those that's cheap. So this one uh, is probably the most expensive of any I'm going to share. And it shouldn't be, but because it's rare, they've jacked the price. I hate it when they do that. But anyway, um, but this Pacifica Island Vanilla is real. It's actually cheap. It's not just inexpensive. It's cheap, but you will. It doesn't smell cheap. It smells amazing. If you want to smell like a tasty snack, use this. Your husband will love it. And Guys, I think your girlfriend or wife will love it too because it just smells that intoxicating. And you're going to hear a lot of these same words because they're all so amazing. Okay, the next one I'm going to share is um, another body spray. And you guys, this is going to be a duo. So this actually makes it eight and nine. This is the Sol de Janeiro. And we have the Boom Boom Cream. First, which show you that beautiful white name, big old, big old bottle. And the reason I show this with this with it, this is the Sol de Janeiro Cherioso 62, also known as Brazilian Crush. Now, the reason I show these together is because. The lasting power is not amazing on this unless get out of the shower when your skin is still warm. You put this boom boom cream on. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. Let's have it right side up for you. So you put this boom boom cream on and then, then you spray all over your body. Now, this is also a... Um, hair and body mist. So it is very, it's vanilla, it's caramel, it's summer, it's beautiful, it's SoCal signature scent. I think it should be because we always have beautiful weather here and Florida also, it should be a Florida signature scent. Because you'll always, if you see reviews on this at all, they say, oh, well, you only wear it in the summer. I keep it away until summer. But the begin first of summer, I bring it out. Well, if you live in California or Florida or Italy, someplace with beauty all the time, um, Portugal, you can definitely get away with this all year. It will make you happy. And I want to go ahead and read you the notes. So, and this is the hair and body spray. I think I told you that. They do have the perfume and every, every review that I read on it says that um, the perfume is no stronger or longer lasting than the um, hair and body spray. And this is really inexpensive, whereas the perfume's more expensive. Look at this. This is a this is bigger than eight ounce, right? This might be 12 ounce. Let's see. No, it's eight ounce. Looks bigger than eight ounce. It's very, very full, and I've used a ton of it. I literally spray it on now. I, I want to share something before I get into the notes of this. Vanilla is one of those fragrances that whatever other scent mix it with it'll just make it smell a little better and last a little longer. So any, and I've talked about this before, especially for women to wear, I love unisex scents. And I actually even love some scents that are intended for men. They're, they don't even call them unisex. They're just intended for men. But if you coat your body with this hair out of the shower, and then you use a men's fragrance like Herod. 
I love Parfums de Marley, Herod, or um, I've told you before, Polo Blue. I get tons of compliments on Polo Blue, but that's after I've sprayed my body with this beautiful vanilla. And um, it's just the combination. You can add vanilla to anything and it just umps it, makes it smell that much better. So anyway, wanted to mention that. So yeah, just wear that, spray that on in the shower. I have a couple other body sprays that smell, make anything smell more amazing. And I'll talk about those on another day. But that, let me, let me share the notes because they're a little unusual. So we have, um, choo -choo. the top notes are pistachio and almond. And you can smell a little bit of that nuttiness almost comes across as a coconut. So there's no coconut, so they say. And from what I'm understanding, perfumers don't always give you every single scent, all the scents. They don't give you all the notes because then you might go make it, you know, make a dupe. I would pretty much bet there's the littlest bit of coconut in here that makes it really beachy. So anyway, for what it's worth, maybe there isn't, it doesn't list it in the notes. So it says the top notes are pistachio and almond. Um, there goes my, I'm so sorry. There goes my light again and I can't see it without my light. The middle notes are heliotrope and jasmine. Another thing I'm noticing is I love jasmine mixed with vanilla. Again, I cannot stand synthetic jasmine or synthetic vanilla. Can't stand them. But real jasmine, real vanilla that's found in here and many others that I'm sharing today, scrumptious, absolutely delicious. And then the, the bottom notes, the base notes are vanilla, salted caramel, and sandalwood. So sandalwood is the other thing that I'm starting to name. I tend to like anything with vanilla, jasmine, and sandalwood. I love candles with those scents. I love perfumes with those scents. I love home sprays with those scents. And guys, again, I don't use any kind of toxic home spray. I don't use anything dangerous. But if you get something all natural like this beautiful, beautiful um, Sol de Janeiro, you can just spray your room. Well, now I have enough scent in here now, but you can spray your house. That's eight ounces. That's no more expensive than a home spray. You can spray your pillows, your sheets right out of the dryer. Anyway, absolutely beautiful. That is Sol de Janeiro, Chariosa 62. Absolutely beautiful with the Boom Boom Cream. Wear them together. It's amazing. Okay. What shall I do next? I shall share this one next. So this is Captivating Essence Vanilla and Sandalwood. Is that great? Now, I'm so sad that it looks like a little bit of a brown bottle on the screen. This is the most beautiful magenta. I'm wondering, let me try putting light behind it. It is the most beautiful magenta bottle with a gold lid and a gold and black sticker or label. Um, oh my gosh, this smells. Look at that nice mist. Again, it actually smells very, very similar to the Sol de Janeiro. I know some of you probably wouldn't agree. It's a slight bit, teeny bit sweeter. Oh my gosh, that smells heavenly. And let me tell you about the notes. If I can find it in this mess. The, the thing is, I had them in, um, in order of my favorites and I kind of mixed them up a little bit. So Captivating Essence, Vanilla and sandalwood. There it is again. Vanilla and sandalwood. What's my other favorite? So the top notes are wild berries and pear. The middle note, what? Jasmine and musk. You see a theme? 
vanilla, sandalwood, and jasmine, it's it's me. You can bet if it has vanilla, sandalwood, and jasmine, I'm probably going to love it if they're real natural ingredients. Then the bottom notes are bourbon, whipped vanilla, and cashmere wood. It's absolutely... Oh, Oh, that's just amazing. The whipped vanilla. This is so smooth. It's not, it doesn't have the little nuttiness that the Sol de Genere does, but it has a lot of the other notes. It smells very, very, very similar, but different. I mean, it's definitely worth having both, I think. And this is very, very inexpensive, depending on where you buy it. So let me see anything else I wanted to share here. So it's it's kind of a toasty, woody vanilla. Um, that 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 whipped vanilla. I don't know how to describe fragrances, but it seemed kind of fluffy, like almost like you're whipping vanilla frosting, but not the fake vanilla frosting, the real vanilla frosting where you, where you use vanilla extract and powdered sugar and butter and a little water. You guys know what I'm talking about, um, cream cheese. Very whipped and beautiful. Anyway, that is Captivating Essence, Vanilla and Sandalwood, Gorgeous. I suggest you buy all of these, literally. I suggest you buy all of them. There's, there aren't like any of these that I think you could get away without getting. All right, next I am going to do this one. I know you've seen me talk about it before, but it was new. It was a first impressions before. This is Jessica Simpson Fancy. Look at that beautiful bottle, you guys. That is beautiful, right? It's beautiful. The lid is nice and solid. And what I love about that is I travel a lot and I can take this with me. It's not, the lid's not gonna fall off and have a terrible mess in my purse. So this one is definitely different than the others. Oh my gosh, that is absolutely amazing. Let me spray it here. I can find the little. This is another one that men absolutely love. Actually, women too. If you wear this out with the girls, they'll ask you what it is, even is, even though they've heard of it. Even though they probably owned it at some point in their lives. Oh, that is absolutely heavenly. Let me find the notes for you. Wow. These keep disappearing on me. Okay, so the top notes are pear, apricot, and fruit. So it's interesting when they say fruit, they've just noted pear and apricot. Those are fruit, but they don't tell you what those other fruit are. So it's probably something like kiwi, which it could very well be. The middle notes are vanilla, toasted almond, gardenia, jasmine. Now, the interesting thing is this has so many more notes than any perfume I've ever worn or owned. Then the base notes are vanilla cream, orange, blo orange blossom, sandalwood, and amber. So that's a lot of notes, right? Couldn't memorize those. Guys, this is just decadent. It's the only... It's decadent, it's addictive, it's intoxicating. It lasts like a long train. I mean, it lasts like crazy. It'll You'll still smell it on your clothes a few days later if you don't wash them. I've heard people say that they actually can smell it on their clothes when it comes out of the laundry. But they, I'm not a real heavy sprayer, except today, because I'm showing you all this stuff, so. It's pretty, there's kind of a lot of stuff. But it is just literally, mm. 
this was going to be my favorite, but then I have three others that I think are going to be my top three. Oh. Let me see if there's anything else on here. It's just, it's super, super sexy, but in a, in a mature woman's sexy way. And it's funny because Jessica Simpson fancy, you kind of expect it to be for, you know, 13 and 14 year olds. No, it's too sexy for that. The vanilla, because it's a real vanilla, the same, it gives it this anchoring. It's, it's literally, I can't describe it's intoxicating. It's, you can't get enough of it. And the thing is about the dry down, you'll literally spray it and you'll go, yeah, that smells really good. I guess I'm glad I got it. And then about three minutes later, which I'm already, I'm probably at about two minutes now, you just start getting whiffs and you're like, whoa, whoa. And the scent on your skin is just as it reacts with your chemistry. And it doesn't matter who it is. With all these notes, it smells a little bit different on everyone, but it smells amazing. So again, that is Jessica Simpson Fancy. Let me put that pretty top back on to show you. Sorry. Jessica Simpson Fancy. It is the only designer perfume that I will wear. All natural. Look how much I've used. You guys saw me just do a first impressions and I've used all that. So amazing, amazing, amazing. I'm going to set it over here. Okay, so next, I think I'll do this one. This is a tough one. So I want to tell you these next three are my top three. Well, this might be my top three, but I don't know which to kick out of the others. Well, and actually, it's a toss up. I think they're all my top three. All eight of them are my top three. And I didn't do 10 because I love all these are like my top. So anyway, what I am going to share now. Let me see. Yeah, I think I'll do this one. So this absolutely beautiful, beautiful bottle. This is Ultramer Vanille, and it's just Vanille. Simple, but there's nothing simple about it. Oh my gosh, that smells so amazing. All right, let's go ahead and spray it on me. I'm gonna spray this a little further up. Look at that really nice, Light. All of these have great misters too. There's nothing worse than having a ch shoot straight out like wet. I had a couple of those that I love the scent, but I would not recommend them. So they're not in my top eight. Oh. oh. That is exactly what it says, Vani. It is vanilla and cotton candy are the only two notes. It's a beautiful, beautiful bottle. The lid is nice and tight. You can see that. So it's perfect for carrying in your purse, traveling. It doesn't have the longest longevity, but it's very inexpensive and you can carry it in your purse. So just spritz it on. Hey, and really, you know, I, I get a good five hours on this. I know people want eight to 12 hours. The thing is, five hours, I'll spray it again, but more than likely, I'm home by then on the telephone or whatever, and I still will get little whiffs of it. So I thought it was very short, uh, short life, five hours, but you know, maybe I'll get a whiff. The other day I was wearing it and it wore off. I couldn't smell it anymore. And then someone, I was talking to a woman and she, I didn't know her really well. So she was standing, we were probably a good foot and a half apart. 
And she's like, oh my gosh, what are you wearing? That smells amazing. So I will tell you that even though you can't smell it after four or five hours, depending on your chemistry, other people can still smell it and they still say it smells amazing. So anyway, that is absolutely amazing. Let me see what else, if I said anything else about it here. Yeah, it's just, it's just super smooth and sweet, but not cloying. And I, I have to say, none of these are cloying. I don't like cloying fragrances. Actually, you guys know my, my step into fragrances when um, I found out that it wasn't fragrance I'm allergic to, it's fake stuff that I'm, it's toxins that hurt my, give me a migraine. So anything you ever see me show you is going to have all natural ingredients, essential oils, um, not much alcohol, if any, I know most perfume has alcohol, but most of these have essential oils and bases. They're made out of, of natural things. And I don't want to say flowers or herbs because there's trees, there's roots. All, all my new fragrances have all different kinds of natural ingredients, but it won't give you a, a headache. So anyway, that is absolutely amazing. Um, Autre Mer Vanille. Get that. You need it. And add it just... Spray a little bit on your skin and then spray any other perfume. And it just adds the perfect, perfect touch. All right. Down to my last two. Okay, because I already did. I'm going to move my fancy over here. It really is tough because they're all kind of... Um, oops, sorry, guys. Let me... Um, so... They're all my favorites, and I think I've made that very clear, right, that these are all my favorites, but I'm going to go down to the two last. You guys saw me do a first impressions. This is Casherelle. Yes, I am. And guys, I first have to tell you, it is the perfect red lipstick perfume. This is perfect for a red carpet. It is perfect for, um, it's perfect for a date night. Oh, it's perfect anytime you would wear red lipstick. Now that said, I'm not a red lipstick wearer as much as I want to. I've put it on, you don't know how many times I put it on for a red carpet or another, maybe a movie premiere that we're guests of and just different reasons I've wanted to wear red red lipstick and I love red lipstick with you know a gray cashmere t-shirt and ripped faded jeans to me that is just class but I just my skin tone is very warm and even though I have a literally a drawer full of red lipsticks that are intended for warm people. I look like a kid playing dress up. And I think it's just the tomboy coming out in me because I honestly believe, honestly believe that every woman can wear red lipstick. And yes, I say women, I do not believe any men should wear red lipstick. You want to do it. That's up to you. But I don't think men should wear red lipstick. But that said, I think any woman over... 21 years old can easily pull off red lipstick, hair in a ponytail, no makeup, just some red lipstick, baseball cap. I think it looks amazing whether you're on a red carpet with your hair all done in curls and, or you're literally wearing cut off jeans and an old white wife beater and red lipstick and your hair in a ponytail. I think it looks amazing on everyone. I just don't feel like I can pull it off. And I've tried. I believe in it. I just can't do it. But that said, this is that in a perfume. Anyone can wear it. Everyone will love it. People will be magnetized to you and think there's just something a little different or sexy or um, bold about her. This is it. Now, watch this spritz. Oh, now for the word intoxicating. Oh my gosh. So I will tell you, I'm going to have a little disclaimer here. This has so many, this has more 
Um, this has more ingredients than the Jessica Simpson Fancy. Okay, it has more ingredients than this, and this has a ton. I can smell the black licorice. I love, love, love black licorice. And I can smell it in the top. If you hate black licorice, you will think that you hate this perfume. Would you do me a favor and play? It subsequently, and it'll still be there, but no one will know what it is. So I think what happens is people smell it, and if they don't like black licorice, they, they say forget it. They don't like it. This is probably the best cheap perfume that every woman needs. I would definitely say this is feminine. I would not recommend a man ever wear this. And you guys know, I think... Every other one of these a man can wear well. And even this one in the hot pink bottle, I think it would smell amazing on a man. Vanilla and sandalwood. This one, I'm going to read you the notes and trust me, it's a lot of notes. But I think it's a woman. I think it's like red lipstick. A man can do it. I'm not going to stop him. I'm not even going to laugh at him. I'll just think it's out of place. So let me read you the notes. So this is Casherelle. Yes, I am. Here are the notes. The top notes are raspberry, mandarin orange, lemon, bergamot, so all citrus, right, and raspberry. The middle notes are orange blossom, gardenia, there it is again, amber, jasmine, there it is again, and rose. And I like a little rose. I don't like a real heady rose, but I like a little rose mixed into a floral. So you do get that just intoxicated floral, floral, vanilla, licorice, yummy, delicious, amazing, intoxicating, addictive scent. So let me tell you the base notes. Milk, caramel or caramel, as everybody says it today. All my life, everybody has said caramel. Maybe that's a California thing, but days. Oh, caramel. And I get that it's spelled that way, but we've always called it caramel. So I'm going to keep calling it caramel, caramel, apple, caramel, popcorn, caramel, popcorn, caramel, apple, just sounds like AI. Anyway, that's me. You can like it or not. So anyway, base notes, milk, caramel, vanilla. I mean, stop right there, right? That just sold me on the perfume, milk, caramel, vanilla. What more Milk, caramel, vanilla, um, what else? This one smells like milk, caramel, vanilla, even though it's not. There is caramel in there too, right? Vanilla and caramel. Okay, so milk, caramel, vanilla, licorice, benzoin, which I love, Amberwood, benzoin kind of takes the sweet, the ick sweetness down. So even though it's really sweet, it's not like cloying or icky, like goopy. Some people love their gourmands that are like, you feel like you're just coated in thick caramel fudge. And that just, that's disgusting to me. I'm sorry, but that's not me. This because of the benzoin partly. Um, so the rest of them, benzoin, amberwood, sandalwood, and cardamom. Guys, although, did you I mean there's got to be 30 um, ingredients in here and the bottle's beautiful. It's a little bit see-through. I know it looks pretty opaque black in here, but it's a little bit see-through. This is actually the... Um, you actually press down on the lipstick and the spray comes out of there. Oh, this is absolutely amazing. Very hard to beat. Again, that is Casherel. I am. And it's the original with the red lipstick. They have multiple others. I have never smelled any of them because this has the notes that I'm discovering I love. All right. 
And now I'm going to share my number one. I finally splurged and got it. I got a small bottle just in case, but this is nice tight top. Again, I like small bottles because I travel and I don't check a bag normally. This is Kaoli 28. Kaoli 28, or Kaoli Vanilla 28. Look how beautiful that bottle is. If anyone wants to buy me a backup bottle of this, I will accept it. So this, oh, I can't do it on that arm. Sorry, I got to do it on this one. Sorry. See how light that is? Mm. That is, I think this, oh, that went up my nose and it's going to make me sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Of course it did. Everything about this, the bottle, the top the way that the top is really tight so I can travel with it. I can throw it in my purse. Um, so you're going to, some of you who are perfume addicts are going to say, there's no vanilla in there, Michelle. This is vanillas. There's no vanilla. Vanilla orchid, and that's enough for me, and brown sugar. Vanilla orchid and brown sugar. Oh my gosh, you guys unbelievable scent oh oh just oh. i'm sad that i've already used the words decadent intoxicating addictive because guys that that decadent addictive intoxicating no vanilla it's vanilla orchid so the top notes are vanilla orchid and jasmine what have i noticed i love everything with vanilla jasmine and sandalwood so the top notes vanilla orchid and jasmine the middle notes are brown sugar and tonka bean guys i love tonka which i'm learning as i'm doing candle reviews i'm i'm loving sense in my candles as I am to wear on myself. Um, and then the, the base notes are amber, musk, amber wood, and patchouli. So there's no sandalwood in this and it definitely smells different than all the rest. I think because they all, pretty much they all have um, sandalwood. Oh. Gosh, I can't stop. Let me, I'm going to spray a little on my blouse. Ooh, got some in my mouth that time. It's a great wide spray. That's why I'm getting it. You need to be careful. Excellent sprayer, even for this little bottle. This is one ounce. And I think this is $25 at Sephora. So that's considered cheap perfume. One ounce, $25. Guys, most of it's like a hundred bucks or more an ounce. So it's a great way to try it. 25 bucks, Sephora will take it or, or Nordstrom. I love Nordstrom because Nordstrom has free shipping always. Sephora seems to have, maybe they have free shipping always too. And you can return anything. I'm actually new with Sephora. I've always used Ulta. And now I'm using Nordstrom for everything because they have free shipping and free returns. And, um, if you don't like it, you can return it. I would suggest trying that. So let me just tell you, this is like a creamy, warm, um, intoxicating, hate to use that word again. I'm going to do a blooper video that tells you all the things I can't stand about fragrance people, things that they say, things that I say that drive me nuts. She, isn't she beautiful? She's so beautiful. Oh, yeah, we'll get to that. So anyway, um, it's it's really warm and cozy. 
It's got a little bit of spice. Mm. I cannot imagine anyone not liking this. Honestly, men or women, I can't imagine them not liking this. That brown sugar, it's a gourmand, but it's not sickeningly sweet because of the benzoin in it. I think that's why. I mean, I'm not a I'm not an expert. I, I want to take one of those um, note classes in Paris where you actually work with a fragrance designer and they teach you everything about. Can you believe I hadn't even didn't even know that existed five months ago. And now I actually want to fly to Paris and take a little note class. Oh, my gosh, it smells so amazing. So. um the thing about this is you can layer it with any perfume. Actually, any of these you can layer with anything. You might not want to layer the um, fancy because it's pretty. Actually, I wouldn't layer either of these two. I am or the fancy. I don't think I'd layer because they're very complicated vanillas as opposed to simple vanillas. They're not complicated. Um, very intriguing, very, I don't know what the word is in the fragrance world, but they're complicated. They have a lot of texture and variety with the vanilla, whereas the rest of these are simple vanillas, even though they have some underlying sandalwood, maybe some jasmine, maybe some brown sugar, cotton candy, cream. They all are fairly simple and you can layer with any other perfume, but this Kaoli I feel like you need to up every one of your other fragrances with this, add this. And actually you could add this to the fancy, make it a little more vanilla, add it to the yes I am, make it a little more, more vanillic. And, um, but it smells so amazing on its own that you don't need to. It's just that I think it makes every other perfume smell amazing. And you guys know I love the unisex scents. I have layered this with so many of the other ones that I've done um, fragrance reviews on. And I will be coming back with some of those. I'll do a niche, a high-end perfume, my top eight. Or I, everyone does five or 10. So I want to do, I like eight. It's the number of perfection, the number of completion, the number of new beginnings. So anyway, that's why I did eight. I hope you enjoyed this today. Again, that is Kaoli um, Vanilla 28. You need it. I, honestly, I think you need every single one of these. Um, I will, let me see if I can. I don't know. It's hard to see them because, you know, and the boom, boom cream is under here. But um, remember, these are the two that you can spray in your hair without drying out your hair. Those of us who live in the constant sun in Southern California or Florida, you don't want to add anything drying to your hair. If you live in the Midwest where it's well, now you're heading into nice weather, but those those big winters, you can spray alcohol in your hair and it'll just make it nice probably, but I don't want anything drying out my hair. So, but these two are perfect for spraying in your hair on your body and all over. They're all absolutely beautiful. I just want to thank you guys for joining me, Debbie and um, Carmen. Let me see if I can see some more here. Ah, I can't slide it up. Sorry, but all of you who are I'm so thankful for you being here. Please do um, let other people know about it. The only way for YouTube to show my videos is if I have lots of subscribers and lots of watch time. So if you just turn it on and let it run, or if you watch it again, if you send clips for other people to check it out, every hour that builds up changes the algorithm so it gets seen more. So anyway, that is it. Those of you who watch me on Facebook, I will be back live at five. I have incredible news tonight. I mean, deep stuff. I did speak with one of my top, top sources today. Um, I have some incredible news to bring you. And there's good news and there's fact news that we just have to face. But 
You know me, Unredacted Truth. So do join me on Facebook, Michelle Moore Winder on Facebook. I love you all. I so appreciate. I know you're valuable. So thank you for coming here. And um, yeah, let me know in the comments which sound intriguing enough to try. Um, what I should do is tell you um, this Pacifica hair and body spray is the cheapest of all the ones I'm doing today. And the Kaoli and the Eau de Missions are the most expensive. Um, the rest of these are all in there in the very, very reasonable range. So let me know what you want to try. Let me know what sounded really good to you. Let me know if you love vanilla, hate vanilla. I've, I have not yet, since I've been testing people, asking people, I haven't found one person who doesn't like the smell of real vanilla. And then um, the other thing is I want to know... Once you get them, I want you to check back. And I do check all my old ones. So you can keep on commenting on old old videos. And I do check back because I want to know what did you try and how did it work out for you? So let me know or you can let me know on a future one. I'll be doing another candle one. I have new first impressions candles tomorrow. I mean, not tomorrow, but probably Saturday. Back, I'm trying to do two YouTubes a week. So God bless you all. Thanks for being here. Again, if you liked this and want me to do more, hit the subscribe, hit the thumbs up. Thanks for being here, guys. Michelle with Unredacted Truth, all things beauty. Thank you.